Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. And our live game is Spain against Argentina. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beglin. Hi everyone and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. It's Messi. And it's Di Maria. Silva. Crunching tackle. He's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Tevez with the ball through. Goal! Argentina! And it's Argentina in front. That was glorious. Pinpoint accuracy. You know, it's the modern ball that makes such a difference to shots like that. If you connect well, it will swerve and dip all over the place. It's just so hard to predict. Spain didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Oh, just needed a better contact. Yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. He's in! Well positioned to make that interception. It's got through. Stay. Emerge on skate, they were right up against it. Silva looks to dink one in. Diego Costa gets it back. Big chance here! Diego Costa gets flagged offside. Oh, that was just fractionally offside. So they got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead.
And Seldi, looking up to see who wants it, knocks it towards the front. Di Maria! Well, he would surely have scored there more times than not. They really are proving themselves to be solid all over the field. It's Silva tries lifting it over. Silva tried to play it through. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Goal kick. No, no, I stand corrected, it's a corner. Tries a through ball. Now oh, it's Costa. Costa! Gets into a dangerous position. And that'll be the last act of the first half. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Argentina, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. Start of the second half. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Messi driving on, he could shoot here. Now it's Alcacer. Chip through to Michelis, cuts it out. Bottom ending. Argentina are still that goal to the good. Zabaleta is on an adventurous run. Perez, Aguero, and that's offside, yes it is. Now the pass, and Saldi. Now it's Aguero, and now they can launch a counter. Aguero, played into the middle, back of the net, a two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. 
Well, we've just seen intelligent football from intelligent footballers. That's honed on the training ground and lovely when it comes off on match day. Argentina have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Mascherano. Di Maria. Zabaletti. Looks like a good ball through. Yeah, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. It's out for a goal kick. Oh, he's come flying in. Excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Aguero passes it through. Spain got lucky. They have escaped lightly. Sergio Busquets. Alcacer. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Aim forward. And it's Pastore. He's off on a marauding run. A wonderful effort, all by himself. Well, everything about that was perfect, apart from the execution. He could so easily have made them pay then. He's putting on a show here, I think. Well, he's certainly a player I'd be more than happy to watch. Tactically, he's almost impossible to stop. And time is up. Solid, if not especially fancy, always in control. They did enough to win it. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, listen, if you've got that kind of power and, and that kind of pace in your team, I think you'll...